My name is Thomas Lundgeberg, I'm with Source Photonics. We're at the Source Photonics booth at the ECOC 2014 show in Cannes in France, where we are announcing the latest addition to a product portfolio of 100 gigabit per second optical modules. A multi-rate 100 gig module in CFP4 form factor for links up to 10 kilometer of single mode fiber. This multi-rate product is targeted for routing and transport networks and complements our previously announced 100 gig CFP and QSFP28 products. We're also demonstrating interoperability of the new CFP4 products with the 100 gig LR4 QSFP28 that we first announced and demonstrated in March this year at OFC in San Francisco. The CFP4 and QSFP28 modules are developed to address the need for low power, high density, 100 gig optical interfaces in data center and routing applications. The QSFP28 product is particularly well suited for data centers, offering the smallest form factor and the lowest power dissipation available for 100 gig interfaces. Besides the 100 gig LR4 10 km version, a lower power 2 km version of the product is also available. This version is fully interoperable with standard IEEE LR4 optical interfaces on links up to 2 km, offering maximum flexibility in data center network installations. And of course, our 10 km QSFP28 is fully IEEE LR4 compliant and interoperable with other interfaces designed to this standard. Our demo at ECOC 2014 shows this interoperability. Our CTO, Mark Heimbuch, will now describe in more detail the products we're showing. Thank you everyone for your attention. First, I would like to walk you through our demo at ECOC 2014, and then I would like to highlight some of the product features. Our demo consists of 10 kilometer links on the output of our 100 gig QSFP28 LR4 and our 100 gig CFP4 LR4 modules. We are running the demo with the JDSU tester generating 100 gigabit per second ethernet traffic and monitoring for packet loss. The optical interface at the tester uses a Source Photonics CFP LR4 module and the CFP TX goes through a jumper directly to our CFP4 RX. We then do electrical loopback on the test fixture without external CDR, and the CFP4 transmitter then goes through 10 kilometers of single mode fiber into our QSFP28 receiver. The QSFP28 also goes through an electrical loopback, this time through a connector, through 30 centimeters of RF cabling, back into this lower test board where we have a CDR, and then back through to drive the TX section. And the QSFP TX section goes through 10 more kilometers of fiber and then back to our CFP RX. We can see that we've been running all day without any error blocks in this cascaded environment. We can also see that our QSFP 28 is consuming about 0.95 amps and our CFP4 is consuming about 1.3 amps. Our CFP4 eye diagrams have a good ER greater than 9 dB, mass margin greater than 40% at a 25 gig line rate, and mass margins greater than 35% at the 28 gig line rate for OTU4. Our low power consumption, small form factor LR4 products use cooled EML designs which provide unchanging TX performance as a function of operating temperature, and they include Cali 4 electrical equalization capabilities on both the TX and the RX side. So in summary, we are very excited to be an industry leader with our 100 gig QSFP and CFP4 product offerings. Our production processes at the chip, OSA, and transceiver level are online and supporting internal qualification now. Alpha sample feedback from key customers has been very encouraging, and we are looking forward to being a solution enabler for high density switches and routers in 2014. Thank you again for your time.